Ladies and gentlemen, netizens were rife this morning when images surfaced showing Prime Minister Najib's stepson Riza Aziz stepping off the government's jet in China, prompting brickbats as to why Riza, who isn't a government official, is allowed to have a joyride on the government's jet at the expense of the rakyat. Moments later, Rosma Mansour's aide Riza Mansour came to the rescue, saying that the government of China has extended its invitation to Najib's family as well for the trade visit and says that the public should focus on the trade meetings which will bring tens of billions of ringgits worth of investments into Malaysia instead of daddy bringing his son along for a holiday. Meanwhile, the passenger service charges for all airports in the country, especially KLIA2, will be increased effective 1st January 2017. Mm-hmm. Rakyat didahulukan. Meanwhile, in the land of the free four family members of the infamous Penang born billionaire Lothek, Joe are filing to claim back some of the assets seized by the United States Department of Justice in connection with their probe into 1MDB. Among the assets seized by the US government is a Bombardier CRJ 700 jet plane. Hmm. The four family members, including Jolo's father and brother, claimed that they were forced into initiating legal action since the trustees holding the assets on their behalf had refused to do so. Bloomberg quotes the family members saying that the trustees were concerned about being exposed to criminal liability for participating in money laundering if they were to intervene in the case. It has been a while since former Deputy Finance Minister Ahmad Maslan took questions with regard to the economy and a lot has changed since the last time he spoke to the media, especially with regards to the price of petrol that went up by 15 cent at midnight last night, bringing the price of petrol to its highest in 2016. So as the Pontian MP stepped into the Dewan Rakyat, this is what he had to say. Dah dapat komen sikit balik tak? Tok! 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 Well, that beats the good old no comment. So now we're back to where we started. What does the government have to say about the petrol price hike? Did they do anything about it? Let's ask the current second finance minister about that. Just for your information, I think based on October price, Actually, the price is supposed to be 20 cents. But, you know, the Yamak Burma Parliament feel that, you know, we should reduce a little bit because it cannot be taken so much. So, hopefully, in November, if the market uh, improves, then hopefully we don't need to even do any increase. Or maybe we can reduce if the oil price drops. A group of protesters led by AMNO Youth ex-co member Arman Asha Abu Hanifa and Selangor AMNO Youth Chief Zainuri Zainal paid a visit to the SUK in Shah Alam this morning to vent their frustration at the Selangor state government about the problems plaguing the state's water supply. Now, although they told the media to show up at 9 a.m., all we saw was a bunch of young chaps hanging around and scribbling some protest signs on Manila paper. It was until about one and a half hours later when Arman and Zanuri showed up and got the party started. When they arrived at the SUK, they found the gates locked. So what did they do? They rattled the crap out of the gate and flung water bottles and buckets into the premises. And that's the end of the fact sheet today. The petrol price is at its highest in 2016, and if not for Prime Minister Najib's intervention, it would be higher. What do you think? If you want to know how it's calculated, you can check out the full video on kinitv.com where Johari explains about how the averages of the previous month is used to make these calculations. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video. I'm Daniel Anthony. Thanks for watching. Thank you.